Hey guys, um, this is my first photography recording. Um, I'm using QuickTime to do uh, screen recording and then audio recording on top of that. So we will see how this turns out. Um, I'm going to show you sort of my um, from start to finish from editing a photo. Um, so you see right here on the right, I have my tropical green smoothie um, that I had made for Naked Juice. Um, I posted that last week. Um, so first of all, you can see that I use, uh, right down here, iPhoto um, to do all of my organizing of my photos. And what I usually do is go through um, the entire photo shoot and flag um, all the photos that I potentially want to edit. So if I really like how it's... Um, how it's focused or how the lighting is and whatnot, I'll flag it for later so I can keep everything organized. So um, I'm going to take this photo right here and um, drag it into Photoshop, which I already have open on the left right here. I was editing um, a different shot before this. So, okay, so I'm going to minimize my um, iPhoto and then really just focus on my Photoshop right here. So. The first thing that I do is um, I usually play around with the crop if I don't like the crop, but I actually really like how this shot is set up right now, so I'm going to keep the crop. Um, and what I'm going to do is go in to my levels, and you can see right here, um, you can make it darker, you can lighten it up. So I'll lighten this guy up just a little bit, um, and then you can see right here it created a new layer. Um, and next I'll go, I usually go into brightness and contrast and brighten it up just a little bit more, contrast just a little bit more. So from there, um, so I usually go levels and then brightness and contrast, um, and then I'll go mess with the vibrance and the hue and saturation. So I really like the coloring in this photo. Um, maybe if it was like a snowy day or if it was cloudy, um, I'd have to go in and mess with the cover with the colors. But um, to me, it looks pretty good right now. So I'm just gonna go in and make it a little bit more vibrant. So you can see all the way up on the vibrance, all the way down. Um, so I'll just bring it up just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Um, and then maybe I'll just give it a little bit more saturated. So it really just intensifies the color. So right now, um, I have some nice space up here in the right hand corner. Um, and what I typically do is, if I have eight photos in a post, I like to have text on maybe one or two of the photos. Um, and so in my shots, I really try and I'm, I try and be particular about uh, text placement. So I really like this open space up here, and this is where I would typically um, add text to a photo. So um, lately, I've been using Bebas New. Um, so that's oops, tropical. Green, let's do this. Ah, tropical green, okay. So I'll change my font to Bebas New. Okay, so I'll make this guy a little bit bigger. Right up here like that. Okay, and so what I like to do is I like to play off the colors that are in the photo. So um, I'll select the text and I'll go to my little dropper guy and, oops. Sorry, you have to go up here. So I'll go up here to my little dropper guy, um, and I'll select a color from inside the photo. So I kind of just play around with it, see what I like. I'm, I, I'm kind of liking this salmon color. Um, it really pops. So I'll keep that up here, and then um, because this is so bolded and um, all capital letters, I kind of like to... Um, bring in some contrast with the font and do more of a script font. And so, um, let's see. I've been using Cheddar Jack lately. So we'll just do Smoothie. And all of these, all of my fonts, I pretty much get um, from 
dafont.com. I'll um, I'll put that link in the post, but um, it's a free font website. You can download like thousands of fonts. It's really nice. So um, I like to do a little overlapping in the font, and then I'll change this color. Um, let's see here. Oh, that doesn't show up very well. Let's try white, green. It's really just about playing around with what you think looks good and what pops and what's readable. Um, so I think I'm liking the green. So I'll keep the green just like that. Cool. So now I have my tropical green smoothie up in the corner. Um, and this photo is pretty much good to go. Um, so what I do from here is I usually do file save for web um, and what this does is it optimizes the photo for um, for web and I always resize mine to about 700 pixels wide it's a little bit wider than what um, than what my blog post width is so I'll click save and then what I do from here is I have um, all of my blog posts um, I give them their own separate folder so as you can see it's not as organized as I'd like it to be um, usually I'd go into 2014 click April and then I would create a new folder but since tropical green smoothie is already right there I can go back in um, and label it green smoothie 9 cool so this is my final photo, and I can show you, I can revert back to the original, and you can see um, a difference here. Revert. So it's pretty cool. You can see um, before and after. You can revert back to the beginning if you don't like anything that you did. Um, Photoshop's just awesome. I highly suggest you get it if you don't have it already. Um, I'll also put down in the links um, just some links to Photoshop directly. Um, they came out with a new cloud version of Photoshop. What's really nice is, I think it's like $9.99, you can get Photoshop and um, Lightroom. You pay a monthly subscription and you get to use both products. Um, I think you have to be connected to the internet for that, but it's, it's definitely um, a much more affordable deal than buying the standard Photoshop because that retails for like over $2,000 unless you purchase it through your through your university, um, which is how I got mine. When I was still in school, I purchased um, CS6, which you can see right up here. Um, and I got a huge discounted price. So if you're a student, I would get the standard version through your school. Um, everybody else, I say, do the cloud because $9.99 is so much more affordable. So anyways, thank you for listening and watching my first photography tutorial. I plan on doing many, many more, helping you guys out. Ask any questions. Um, I am here for you. So thank you.